And we are back. Yes. This man can set any pulpit ablaze, crack a joke on a cue, and talk troubled souls through some of their most inner, their most challenging inner times. <laughs> and she's the lifeline he leans on and the first lady who's not afraid to get you all the way together uh -huh. in the name of Jesus. <laughs> yes, won't okay, oh she do it. And of course, <laughs> together they're successfully leading a large flock of Relentless Church at Relentless Church. Whoa, Shawnee at Relentless Church in Greenville, <laughs> South Carolina, and starring in the second season of OWN's hit reality TV show, The Book of John Gray. Yes. Please welcome Pastor John Gray and Avatar Yay! Gray. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, and yes. We are always so happy and blessed to have you guys down to the circle. We yes. just absolutely Grateful. love you here. Yes, thank you for here. Us. Mm -hmm. And thank you for being here. Um, and with that being said, in the midst of all the drama, all the talk, and mm -hmm. the reality TV, and all of the gossip, and mm -hmm. the criticism, mm -hmm. um, how do you guys uh, navigate through this and continue to stay grounded and, to st and continue to stay focused through all of this, especially being on reality television? I think the first thing is that we rely heavily on our faith. Mm -hmm. I think that's the lens that we live our lives through. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for us, we don't, we're not just pastors of the church, we're members of the church. I know mm -hmm. that's right. So the same blood we preach is the same blood we need. Hello, the same everybody. grace we preach is the same grace we need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, this has been probably the most challenging year of our lives, uh, whether it's things that uh, came to light, broken places, mm -hmm. and then lies mixed on top. Right. Uh, the reality <laughs> is, uh, it's actually made me a better man. Mm -hmm. uh, from the time that I was here the last time mm -hmm. to now, the growth and the evolution of who I am and who we are as a couple has been monumental mm -hmm. and it was necessary. There were things in me that had been broken for probably 40 years right. mm -hmm. from the day that I was abused on the front lawn at four all the way till now mm -hmm. and God was healing those places. So to see that and to watch what God is doing from then till now yeah. and even in my marriage has been amazing. Well, Aventure, mm -hmm. talk to us about what this new season is going to look like for fans and what can they expect? Wow, uh, a lot of hope. I mean, the, the show has been on since April of 2017. It is a docu-series hybrid, mixing faith with us giving help to people in many aspects of their lives. We have a young lady that's been a target of racism and she doesn't even want to go back to school. And then we have another young lady who lost the use of her legs. Mm -hmm. They were amputated due to a car accident, but she's a stylist. So mm. she's trying to find hope again and purpose in that. So what we're doing is being ourselves, who we've always been, people who love people and who give them the very best of us, not from a place of perfection, but from a place of love and healing and hope. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, John, of course, uh, you recently sat down with our sister friends at The Real, mm -hmm. and uh, you admitted to having an emotional but not physical affair. And this is a quote. Yeah. You and Aventure have, have peace about this situation, but other people don't. Uh, do you often struggle to try to allow people or find peace or find other people to have peace with what you've been through and still deal with it yourself? How are you balancing that? Or do you feel obligated to try hmm. to... Thank you uh, for that question. Yes. Yes. I think the first thing is, is that because I am a Christian, my first responsibility is for the areas where I failed or fallen short is to repent to God. Then I go to my wife. Mm -hmm. The things that we walked through are over a year, almost a year and a half old. Okay. What people see as new was not new to us. There were no surprises. Right. Uh, the okay. things that, that are being perpetuated, we already were aware of. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a voicemail or this, that, or the third, these are things we knew, we walked through, we have counselors. We've been walking through that. Okay. Even the first Sunday of our church, we shared okay. where we had been, that we That's didn't know important. if we would make it. We shared we, it first. We shared it. This we is didn't in response know. to something coming out. Okay. Yeah. We, we put it out. Okay. Yeah, we gotcha. said the first Sunday, we thought about divorce. We were actually actively talking about it. We didn't know if it would happen, but God. Right. And so our vows took precedence over the brokenness. And so that's something that was important. Uh, but do I feel the responsibility? I do. And here's why. Uh, when you preach the gospel, you are held to a higher standard. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so there are people who need to know that I take responsibility, but the responsibility is for me to get it right with my wife right. and my children, right. but also for myself, because the issues that happened in the marriage predated the marriage. Mm -hmm. The brokenness didn't show up in these eight years. That was stuff that had never been attended to before I got here. Got it. Mm. Got it. 
and, it, and ultimately a marriage is supposed to be sacred in between the two of you. Between and the two of us. Matters. It's just unfortunate that you're also a celebrity. Yeah, yeah well, you know. And, and speaking <laughs> of which, we talk about the, you know, we talk about, you know, people get very antsy when it comes to money and church and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And D.L. Hughley, um, you know, he spoke about, you know, he has some disdain for the comment about the $250,000 over the new roof. Um, mm -hmm. Talk to us about what people are missing when it comes to giving um, to the church and uh, giving in your own personal household and, yeah. and the difference between the two and how if those are tied if not beautiful Well, first of all, we are not just members. We are tithers. I've always Hello, been a tither um, And we are probably one of if not the top givers in our own church We believe in sewing that's always been us mm -hmm. And so a lot of people were trying to draw this narrative between the gift that I got my wife Which by the way Happened I purchased a year ago before I was ever a pastor mm. That's important because people are like the church bought no the church didn't and they couldn't. It had nothing mm -hmm. to do with it. I was doing well, and I was fighting for my family before I got there. Yeah. That's important because there should be responsibility for leaders. The other part is what was going on with the church happened before us. The roof needed issue, needed fixing before I was pastor. Absolutely. Right. So again, we fight for everybody to be a part of it. We made we made the need of we made the need known, mm -hmm. and people have participated. Okay. And we have been the biggest, if not one of the biggest, participants of that. Well, Good John stuff. and Avatar, we thank you so much for being here. It's always great to have you here. And don't forget the new season of the Book of John Gray kicks off April Woo! 6th at this 9 Saturday, on 9 PM. TV. Yes, that's, that's going to be awesome. Awesome. Well, next up, Chef Erica Barrett will cook up a special Southern cuisine dish with our girl, Miss Quad. She's back in the kitchen. Yes! Yay. Thank you.